Manners. I can't wait to see the roof. It's orange again. First time in what feels like forever. We are back inside Tropicana Field for Rays Live, the postgame brought to you by Advent Health. The Rays win it 5-2 in walk-off fashion. Let's hear what Kevin Cash has to say about it. Yep. All right, we will start with, with the end there. Brandon Lau delivering the walk-off. Richie with the leadoff double. Jose Caballero tying it up. What was impressive to you about that inning? I think just the awareness within the at-bats of the guys. Look, Hector Neris is really good. He's done it for a long, long time. Pitched in high-leverage situations his entire career. And it's a fastball split approach. You hope you're kind of guessing right and see the split up. And I felt like, I mean, Richie started off, like you said, Ben's at-bat was really impressive to fall behind 0-2, I think it was, or 1-2 and to lay off some. And then Bilal took a shot 2-0, got a split below, but then made him elevate a little, a little bit and caught it out front. And then I guess just how much overall did this team feel like they needed a win like this? Yeah, I mean, no doubt. We, we needed a win. We, it's been a frustrating uh, last series, frustrating the, the way we performed. I don't think the guys were happy about it, um, but impressed with the way they came at it. They could have gotten really unhappy midway through that game when we couldn't get anything going offensively. But they stayed at it. You know, we were able to get one uh, late in the game and then the big one or big three there at the end. And Zach Eflin, he worked around quite a bit of traffic today but only allowed two runs. I mean, what did you see from him? Really good. I mean, the one pitch to Morrell, uh, I think he was trying to throw a sinker away and it kind of came back over middle end. Uh, Morell is a talented hitter. Um, got him for the home run, but other than that, very impressed and happy that he got to that 80 pitch mark. Just felt like, look, tough decision. Clevenger's been really good for us um, to pull him out in that spot, but felt like if we could keep it there at one nothing, maybe that was uh, going to be one of our best shots. Seems like Richie's come up with a couple different situations for you. And Getting something going. Yeah, look, I think he was frustrated in the first at bat or second at bat when we, we, we had the opportunity with second and third, one out, uh, and swung over top of a curveball. But um, he's, he has come up in some big at bats for us. And to get, get one right there, the last thing you want to do is let a, a good closer like Neris settle in. And he, he couldn't when he, you know, there was traffic on the bases. Pretty good hustle, too, right? Scoring on the wild pitch and coming from second to score. Yeah. Like yeah. Um, he better score on Cavi's hit for sure. <laughs> yeah. uh, the wild pitch, that's a tough read because, you know, it's, the ball's moving away from you. You don't have the best angle at it. How far is it going? But it's good to have speed, which he does. And just, I guess the same thing with Cavi, too, to be able to get Yeah, come off the bench right there, there right. Uh, after Randy's at bat and then go play defense and ready to hit. He, he got, a, I believe, a fastball. Uh, he wasn't going to let let him get to the split, so he was ready to hit and got just an over, uh, enough of it to get over the second baseman's head. Big, yeah. big knock. And I guess that's part of the veteran hitter of a guy like Brandon can have a couple of bats earlier in the game. Not yeah, yet. I mean, you felt for Bilal. He smoked the ball to, to right, I think, the previous at bat earlier. Um, came up in a couple situations that he really wanted to come through. We got a lot of guys that are really wanting to come through. And, I mean, I think that's also you, that's where you see some added pressure that they're putting on themselves. But... They care a lot. They, they, they want to be the guy, and tonight Brandon was. What is the situation with Randy? Is he going to play tomorrow? Or is this gonna I, I'm going to try to stay away from him tomorrow, but he, he's. I think he's going to be okay. He, went and, he said he was sore. Um, we went and got an MRI checked out right before the game started. Um, I think it's more of a day-to-day -day thing. That Kevin Cash, he stole.